Welcome to Palms Academy. In this video, let us see the difference between hosted and on-premise model. Meet John. John is the head of supply chain at XYZ Corp. In the previous set of videos, we saw how John evaluated and implemented a warehouse management system. As part of the process to implement a WMS, one of the most important decisions that John had to take was whether to go for hosted model or on-premise model. Let us see how John evaluated the two models and pros and cons he identifies. On-premise model John understands that in an on-premise model, he is responsible for the procurement and maintenance of the infrastructure to host the WMS application. He identifies the different hardware and software platforms that are required to host the WMS. They are Hardware for Production servers Test servers Report servers external storage devices and backup devices for disaster management and mitigation. Software Operating systems and related licenses Database management systems and related licenses Report server licenses Antivirus licenses Firewall licenses and load balancers Infrastructure for the data center like A secure area with access control mechanism for the servers provision and backup for maintaining a preset temperature, power backup for the data center and backup lines for both intranet and internet connections, provision for VPN, anti-static and fire retardant flooring. John also realizes that he would require robust disaster management and disaster recovery services which is extremely expensive to set up and manage in on-premise mode. Apart from the points identified above, John recognizes that the overall budget to implement a WMS is not just restricted to the cost of the software, but also includes additional year-on-year -year cost to maintain the infrastructure. John also realizes that server capacity in terms of CPU, RAM and storage will require periodic upgrades as the number of users and data grows. He also realizes that servers will also have to be upgraded at the end of their life cycle, which will lead to additional costs. Hosted model After evaluating on-premise model, John evaluates the hosted model in which he had to either pay a monthly subscription fees or yearly subscription fees. With the hosted option, John did not have to worry about servers and licenses. John had the option to add resources like memory, CPU, storage space and on-demand DB backup. He also had options to reduce the resources required during non-peak hours to minimize the costs. Hosted model also provided disaster management and disaster recovery options at affordable cost. To access the WMS through the cloud, John had to procure high-speed internet connection to ensure application performance did not degrade due to slow internet. John understands that, irrespective of the model he chooses, he must procure, install and maintain certain infrastructure like network connectivity at the office and warehouse locations, Wi-Fi devices, desktop PCs or laptops, printers, barcode label printers, and handheld devices. John recognizes that moving to the cloud is to future-proof his business. He also realizes that large companies who had the capability to maintain large data centers were moving to the cloud as the cloud offers more advantages and takes away the hassle of maintaining servers and related infrastructure while providing enough features to safeguard his data. This concludes the video on the differences between hosted model and on-premise model. Please share your feedback in the comment section below. Please subscribe to Palms Academy for more informational videos and blogs on warehouse management.